Hey everyone, this is my walkthrough on Jack and Daxter in the Precursor Legacy. We are in Spider Cave. Ugh. And, um, we're trying not to die, but as you can probably tell from the last video, that is almost impossible. Dying in this level is a given. But, we will continue along and. Oh my god, that was close! That was scary. I don't want to die, mommy. Oh, jeez. By the way, uh, I actually just got some really bad news about another death. This isn't death of like a personal friend, don't worry. I'm just still sad that it happened. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys know who Mark Linkus is. Um, he is the front. He is the main member of Sparkle Horse. If you listen to that band. Um, also recently he did um, a uh, project with uh, Danger Mouse called Dark Knight of the Soul and I just learned that um, a few weeks like back in the beginning of July he d um, killed himself I had no idea um, apparently from the police report he uh, shot himself um, outside a friend's house I didn't know that this happened, so I'm really sad. Mark Linkus, you will definitely be missed. I, you know, it, that's just so sad. I like, you know, I liked Mark Linkus. He was awesome. Sparkle Horse did like a, a fantastic job of remixing "This Modern Love" by Block Party. I don't know if any of you have heard that song, but it's amazing. Um. But yeah, you'll be definitely gratefully missed. And also, I just I just want to say on a side note, um, you can go to the needle drop for hearing on why I'm saying this, because I definitely agree with what they said. EMI, you guys are complete assholes for what you did. You are complete, utter assholes for what you did. I don't care, like, say, oh, it's for the business. Shut up. You did it for greed, you lying sack of shit. I'm sorry, it's just what they did that kind of pissed me off. And you can disagree with what, like, well, I agree, but I definitely agreed with Anthony Fantano's agreement on it. So, yeah. I, I just found out, like, just, like, literally from his video that Mark Linkus died. It made me mad that EMI had to, had to do that. Like, I'm all for Posthumous um, release albums. Because then we would have never gotten Valleys of Neptune by Jimi Hendrix. That's perfectly okay. By the way, posthumous, if you don't know what that means, it means it's it's art that's released after the creator of it dies. So Valleys of Neptune is a posthumous release by Jimi Hendrix because it was released after he was dead. So that's what it means. Yeah, but uh, that's just so sad. Um, but let's see. Let, let's get to some happier news. Oh, I have some very, very happy news, and this made me so happy. I can tell Capri Sun. So happy. And that was that, um, I was digging through a bunch of old CDs that my dad had, and he had one of the best CDs around. It was Rush's album, Moving Pictures. Oh my god, I almost fangirl screamed when I saw that. I don't care who you are, that is like one of the best albums out there. Yeah, but enough of me fangirling over Rush. I'll, talk, I'll probably go into more detail about that. I don't really need to go into more detail about that than right now. Um, oh, crap. This is that dark cave I was talking about. God, I hate this place. So you know what? Let's, let's do a no no right now. I have a cool one. Um... I don't know if a lot of you know this, but cenotes are a type of sinkhole, and they're very commonly found in the Yucatan Peninsula in uh, Mexico. And there are some that formed from the Chicxulub uh, meteor, which uh, hit Earth about 65 million years ago. It's either 65 or 55. I don't remember the exact number. I'll put it up, because I really don't remember. And I barely made that. Ah! That was close. There are four dark eco crystals that you have to touch. You have to be very careful because when you touch them, they will go boom, bye bye. 
So I guess this episode is going to be just talking a lot about musicians, because we talked about Sparkle Horse and Rush. But yeah, that's just sad. Here's the thing, when, whenever a musician dies, I feel really sad, because you know what, they don't deserve to die. I don't care what a lot of you say, I find it really horrible that, look, I don't like Slipknot, but when I heard that their bassist died, I felt sad, okay? It was really, you know, insulting to say, like, oh, I'm glad that he died. I don't care who you are, if you're a respected musician, you cannot say that... Here's the thing, you can't say Slipknot was bad, you just say that you don't like them. I didn't like them, but I felt sad that their base that their bases died. And, you know, that that is really sad to lose a member of your band. And it's really not funny to make fun of his death either. I mean, you guys really need to grow up. Come on. Another death that I'm uh, really sad to hear about, um... Well, you know, even though this is a band I didn't like, was Avenged Sevenfold, their drummer, I think, died. I was, I was, you know, I felt bad for them. But Sparkle Horse, man. I think, though, if the music, a musician's death that probably impacted me the most was probably the death of, uh, Jim, of Jay Riotar. This video really is depressing. You know, I think when I saw this video, so the depression doesn't continue. I guess I'll see you guys next time on Jack and Daxter when we continue through Spider Cave.